Hey y'all, have you ever wondered how to make these little name plates out of acrylic or maybe you didn't know what they were made out of? Well, I'm gonna show you how I made this one for my mom using my Omtech Polar Laser. So if you wanna know how to use the two layer acrylic and make one, stick around. The first thing you're gonna need is a name plate holder. I picked these up off of Amazon. I got a pack of 12 and I think they came out to like $2.50 or something like that each. They are two by eight inches, but I know that like JDS and probably some other places have them and they're probably a little cheaper, but I just wanted it like overnight. <laughs> and the next thing you're gonna need is some 1 16th inch dual layer acrylic. I get this from JDS, they have lots of different colors. So it's white with a black on the front and whenever you engrave it, it'll be black and then the engraving will be white, just like this is here. This 1 16th inch acrylic is so awesome. I use it for so many things. You can use it for name tags, name plates, put the little pin or magnetic backing on it. You can use it for room numbers, keychains probably. I don't know how durable 1 16th is on keychains. These sheets of acrylic actually come in like 24 inch long sheets. So I cut them down to 19 inches and then five inches, I believe it is. So that way I can use all of the material because my laser bed doesn't fit uh, the full 24 inches wide. I just cut it with a razor blade. If you want a video on that, let me know. Next thing, you're gonna wanna take off the protective film on the top because you don't wanna engrave that. It will turn out really bad. Now, I recently got a new nozzle for my Omtech Polar Laser and the airflow is a lot better with it, but I haven't used the two layer acrylic since I got the new nozzle. And with the original nozzle that came with my laser, I uh, would take off the air hose and disconnect it while it was engraving because you do not want air and if you want air, then it might be a little bit harder to clean up. I originally used this two layer acrylic to make these little number plates. This is one of the first uh, ones I did. It didn't cut all the way through. And also see how it's like really dirty there. Um, that was with air and that was on my original nozzle that came with my Polar. And then after doing a lot of research, I found out you do not want air because what happens is the air blows the the top coating and then melts it back into the white and that's how you get it all dirty. But since this new nozzle is a lot better and actually I engraved a whole bunch of acrylic, not two layer with the air on and it turned out amazing with the new nozzle. And light burn, honestly, I didn't measure the nameplate 100%. I measured the height and it was the two inches. So I just put eight inches as the length. Uh, you'll see that it's a, like a quarter inch short on the ends. So yeah, but basically it's just a square with the name or whatever you wanna put in the middle. But as you can see here, the acrylic dust is like blowing all over the place, but it does look a lot cleaner than it did without, uh, with disconnecting the air hose. The reason I didn't wanna disconnect the air hose is because I didn't wanna reconnect it because with the new nozzle, it's a little bit hard to connect. And I thought, well, you know, maybe it'll work out. And it did work out pretty well. It worked out pretty well. To clean it off, I used, I usually just used um, the first time whenever I was engraving the acrylic with the two layer, I would apply a thin layer of dish soap on top to help with any hazing around the edges, but I really decided to just go for it <laughs> and not use the dish soap because I'm trying to make my life a little bit easier. And I'm like, if this works out on this little test project, then it will work out um, in the future and it will take less time. So yeah, so to clean it up, usually I would take it to the sink and rinse off the Dawn dish soap with a magic eraser is what I found worked really well with getting the any little residue off of the engraving and shining it up. But since I didn't use the dish soap this time, I just used a little bit of rubbing alcohol because I saw a video from Laser Every where they were using rubbing alcohol and the magic eraser to get it off of a tumbler. So I was like, let me try the magic eraser that I already used and let me use it with rubbing alcohol since I didn't really want to go to the sink. And it actually worked out really well. As you can see here, it looks really clean and I just wiped it off with the paper towel and put it together and I know my mom's gonna love it. 
Well, there you have it. I will put the settings and everything, all the links uh, of the things that I use in the description of this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I will try to reply if I can help you out. But yeah, I hope you learned something and see you in the next video.